So I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily import a CSV file into Asana, which is a free productivity management tool, which is a free project management tool that you can use to get more done in your business, keep better track of your to-dos, and juggle all your various responsibilities as a business owner. So first I want you to download this template from your email. It should be emailed to you directly after you input your info in the opt-in box with this blog post. And once you get it, you can download it, open it on your computer. Even though it's a CSV, it basically means that it's a spreadsheet, so it'll work in any spreadsheet software like Excel, Numbers, Google Sheets, etc. It's got all the steps of updating the Etsy seller spreadsheet and the inventory spreadsheet that you need to do each month. You can type over these, delete ones that don't apply to you, or adjust them if you're using a different type of spreadsheet or a different type of software. Um, you can do whatever you want with it. It's pretty flexible. And then right here, you'll see the email address column, and I just want you to replace this with whatever your Asana email address is. So if you haven't created an account in Asana yet, just use whatever email address you're going to use to make that account. So once you've got your email in here and this, you can save. It almost always gives you this funky message when you try and save a CSV. That's totally fine. You can hit continue and now you're ready to upload the file in Asana. So I'm assuming that you've already gone to asana.com and created an account for yourself here. If you don't already have Asana, it's totally free. There's no downside to doing it. It's all web-based and you can also get the app on your phone if you want to be able to use it from your phone or your iPad as well as your computer. Once you have an Asana account, we're going to create a new project to dump all those bookkeeping tasks in. So you just click this create a project plus button or you can hit the plus button up here and create a new project that way. I'm going to call mine bookkeeping tasks and you want it to be the list layout. Now you've got a brand new blank list project and we're going to be able to easily upload that, those tasks from the CSV file into this project without having to go in and type all the tasks one by one. So in order to do that, click the little down arrow right here next to bookkeeping tasks. You want to go to add tasks via CSV, choose file, and then navigate wherever on your computer you have that CSV file saved. Once you find it, just hit choose. And then I'm going to check off this box, use first row as column names. That's because we have our first row in the template as bookkeeping tasks. So make sure you check that box and hit continue. The task name will be in the bookkeeping task column, so leave that alone. And then you want to go to select column 2 as your email address. That will make everything be assigned to you. I'm going to leave the other fields blank, and then I'm going to click Start Import. It's going to take a few minutes to bring all those tasks in, but once it does, I'll have a ready-made to-do list with all the bookkeeping things that I need to do each month to update my spreadsheet and get right with my finances for my shop. So once it's done importing, I've got all the tasks in here. They're already assigned to me. The next thing that I can do to make life really easy is set due dates for them. So you might want to do all these things on the first of the month. You might want to break up the tasks over various days of the month, but you can go through, you click each one, and you can go to the due date button over here and set a due date for it. And not only do you want to set a due date, I'm saying do it on the first of the month, you can set it to repeat on a monthly basis every one month on the first day of the month. And then I hit done. And so now every month my Asana to-do list is going to remind me that it's time to update my books. And not only will it remind me, but I'll have the entire to-do list of what it takes to update my books already written out and ready for me to go. So it's just taking some of the thought process and the emotions out of having to update your books. You've already got everything automated. You already know what needs to be done. 
you're not going to be sitting there like I don't remember what I'm supposed to be doing next because the to-do list is already here and it's scheduled to repeat so you don't have to recreate the wheel each month. This is just one example of what Asana can do for you to automate systems, to streamline your processes, and make your life easier. I highly, highly, highly suggest that you start using this tool on a daily basis in your business. It's going to make your life so much easier. And if you want to learn more tips and tricks of how to use Asana, especially for makers and creative business owners, to help you work better, not just in your business, but on your business and move forward on meeting the financial goals that you've been setting, then I suggest you check out my new Asana course, Asana for Makers.